what is one thing that people get wrong about you one thing people will get wrong about me is that In today's video, I am going to be asking my love James personal questions. Okay, we did this video on me, and I will be linking that down below so that you guys can go see that one. The first one, we were getting deep into questions about me, so on this one, we're going to be getting deep into questions about me. Yo, so um, Aaron is gonna ask me a series of questions, and I'm just gonna answer them, and y'all are gonna find out more stuff about me. It's gonna be real juicy and here and y'all stay tuned and let's go ahead and get right into the video babe so let's go wait a minute you hear them birds chirping what okay sorry if y'all hear a bird chirping it's because there's a bird chirping really loud what is one thing that people get wrong about you one thing people will get wrong about me is that I'm a nice person. Um, I walk around with a straight face. I don't show a lot of emotion whenever I talk to people. So um, they kind of get the first impression that I don't want to talk to them or I don't want to get to know them or, you know, basically like I come off as like, oh, he may be mean or something like that. So people normally don't come up to me and talk to me. Um, it's hard for me to open up to people. So that's why I do walk around with a straight face and stuff. I don't really open up to people like that. Yeah, I, well, once I get to know you, I mean, it's pretty cool. You know, I'm a nice person and stuff, but I don't don't really show my emotions like that like things don't really get me going unless like you're like one of my closest friends and stuff and like we're really like you know laughing having a good time and everything like that what is your biggest fear my biggest fear would probably be like heights I do not like heights but also like tied with that I don't like going across like single like laned bridges like right. like it's like one lane on each side and like they're really long bridges Ooh. It gets my heart racing. Uh, I'm super scared of that for some reason. Uh, and I don't like to be out in the middle of the ocean. I have to be by some kind of land. I don't like that. But um, heights is like my top one because I just like standing on the highest building and looking down. Ooh boy, no. So you don't like long bridges? I don't like, like long bridges that are surrounded by water. Oh, what if it's not surrounded by water? Oh, then, then I'm good. Oh. Or, or if it's like, you know, big bridges and there's like four or three lanes or something. Then I'm mm -hmm. good. As long as it's not like some rinky dink kind of like bridge sort of or like, you know, it's like 10 miles of just you next to water. And yeah. it's like you look over to the side, you look over to this side and there's mm -hmm. nothing but just water. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? And what makes you this way? Um, I'm an introvert extrovert. Um, I like to keep, like I said, a lot of things in. But um, once you get to know me, I do eventually open up and stuff like that. Certain things I will open up right away and just talk mm -hmm. about like sports or you know like different stuff like when we was in school like school stuff mm -hmm. or you know clothes and shoes you know things that I'm into I'm I'm willing to open up quick mm -hmm. about but like personal stuff about me like how I be feeling every day on a day-to-day -day basis mm -hmm. or like what makes me laugh the most and you know all that kind of stuff like I don't really like I just kind of keep in plus I like to be by myself I like to recollect my mind by myself in my own space mm -hmm. I don't like to be around a lot of people a lot of times, but I do also like to like, you know, have fun with people and enjoy a good time if the opportunity does come about. But majority of the time, I kind of just want to be to myself out in public and stuff and not really like be like, oh, hey, how are you? And you know what I mean? <laughs> like all, all that, I don't want to do that. <laughs> like if, some, if somebody has to say, hey, how are you doing to me before I say, hey, how are you doing to them? Mm -hmm. Kind of thing. Like I don't really be like, Hey, how are you today? Yeah. What is your biggest deal breaker in a relationship? Oof. 
deal breaker, the biggest deal breaker for me is hygiene. If a girl has bad hygiene, it's a wrap, it's done, no thank you at all. I need a girl that takes care of herself, has a clean bathroom, okay? You know, is clean, got clean clothes and all of that, you know, not no rinky dink stuff, not no like, you know, they bathroom is all messy and everything like that. And like, you know, they don't really be putting on deodorant every day or, you know, they don't be washing up good enough or they breath smell like crap. Mm -hmm. So, you know, breath, breath goes a long way. And if your breath is messed up, then it's not gonna work out, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. It's terrible. <laughs> Are you confrontational? Why or why not? Mm -mm. I do not like confrontation at all. I, do, I don't like arguing. Uh, I avoid arguments and I try to limit as many arguments as possible. But sometimes I do argue because I feel like people don't hear my point mm -hmm. or, or like I, sometimes I don't get my point across. So, um, you know, I listen to other people's opinions because, you know, it's always two sides of a story. So I take in what the other person's saying, but, you know, I want them to listen to what I have to say, too, because I don't want them to just think like, you know, every argument we have or, you know, every argument I have with James, it's like he never says anything back or like comments back about like how he actually feels or like what he thinks about it. Mm -hmm. So like, I feel it's like respectful to listen to somebody that has their opinion because obviously they're striking an argument for a certain reason. And and you know, you always have your side on how right. you feel about the situation, so. Right. But I, I try to avoid confrontation. I don't like to argue. I just like to discuss things and get it over with and let it be and mm -hmm. that's that. The reason why I don't like confrontation is because I don't like to get mad. I like to keep a positive headspace and I feel like arguing is one of the most negative things. <laughs> And I feel like it's a really big time waster and it's something I don't want to have my mind dwelling mm -hmm. on and stuff like that. I just kind of want to discuss it and get it over with. Right. Do you hold grudges or do you forgive easily? It depends on the situation. Be honest, Mr. Scorpio. It depends on the situation <laughs> and the circumstances. Um, I do forgive majority of the time, but you know, a grudge, I would say like, it wouldn't really be like something that like I really hold on to. Right. It depends on the situation though. Like, if you cheated on me or something, then like I'll never let that go. Mm -hmm. But like I'll for I like forget about it and just like like I just wouldn't talk to you ever again. Mm -hmm. And I'll be like, eh, I don't mess with her. I'm not saying. And uh, you know, but like forgiving situations is kind of like you know, I, I basically for forgave like everything. I don't really care. Mm -hmm. Like it's not like mm -hmm. serious things. But like if it's like a serious thing, then no, like that grudge is forever gonna be held or if like something happened to my family member by somebody or something like that then right you know what i mean mm -hmm. but other than that then everything is like forgiven i don't it, i'm not about to hold no grudge on something that's pointless right so what is one thing that you want to cross off of your bucket list one thing that I would love to cross off of my bucket list is to I want to I want to travel like somewhere like super exotic like it's like multiple places but like somewhere where it's like super super exotic and you know not a lot of people go to but like mm -hmm. it's just a super nice getaway vacation with you of course mm -hmm. and I just want to cross that off my bucket list I want us to have like just a far away vacation away from the US everywhere like that mm -hmm. and I just want us to just feel like a different culture and a different mm -hmm. environment on how people are like I want to basically get to meet new people and how different cultures are I feel like right. I'm, I'm fascinated in how different people live around the world mm -hmm. and like the things that they go through every day I feel like everything is just so different here in right. America and I feel like we're just away from good stuff like mm -hmm. I feel like there's a lot of negative things that happen day to day in right. America compared to other countries That's where true. where it's a lot nicer and they mm -hmm. I feel like the people in other countries kind of like, you know, they, of course they go through certain things, mm -hmm. um, but I feel like overall, you know, they absorb their environments and they enjoy like the outside worlds and stuff exactly. and stuff like that. If any of y'all are from um, any other countries, let us know those down below. It's really mm -hmm. pretty interesting to um, yeah. see that, like, you know. Yeah, it's real interesting. But one of my like, I have, another one of my fears is like accidentally traveling to like a wrong part out of sight of a country oh, that's yeah. not like real touristy, and then getting lost. Ooh. Right. And nobody speaks the language, like English. Oh yeah. Oh, that's terrible. And your phone don't work. Oh, and your phone's dead. Oh, hey, you might as well just call it quits. No, you know what I would do? I'll just live it up. I just be like, hey, you know what? I 
guess you just homeless in the other country then. Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys that's gonna be it for today's video hopefully you all enjoyed getting to know a little bit more about myself and y'all um also if you haven't watched the one about me you guys can go ahead and click that down below and we're going to be doing a part two let us know also i mentioned this in another video if y'all want to see you know another type of q a or get to know type video leave those questions down below and you never know we may pop your question up in one of our videos that we do with a questionnaire all okay? right Nice. <laughs> so y'all with that being said, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe down below and turn on the post notifications while you are at it. And we're also going to be doing notification shout outs really soon starting up. So also, if you do hit that bell, that will make you part of the notification squad. So all you have to do is hashtag notification squad and you may see your name come up in one of these videos and we're going to give you guys a shout out. But you have to be a part of the notification squad gang in order to do that. So y'all, with that being said, we love y'all so much. Also, don't forget to follow our social medias above. And with that being said, we love you guys so much. We're going to catch you guys in the next video. So everybody have a great day and peace. <laughs>